so i used to travel when i was 8 years old to 32 kilometers every day i wanted to have an impact in education especially higher education that was lowest point in my life i was in coma for a month and mm. i had more than 15 surgeries on me how do you bridge the gap between industry and academy mm-hmm. what does industry need that is where uh, i also started reflecting what is important in life mm-hmm. right uh, whether what we are seeking is it important in the larger context so good morning afternoon evening people watching this interview i am so excited and thrilled to have my next interviewee uh, he is someone with if i may say 16 to 18000 connections on linkedin he is someone who's got like million views on his post uh, he's been a tcs employee for close to i think above 15 years played multiple roles and i think before i take lot of time of you let me introduce my next guest gaurav gandhi gaurav welcome to the show awesome haritos great to be here uh, uh, i've been following you on linkedin great to see your commitment towards reading your youtube channel uh, through which you help lot of youngsters gain a new perspective through these interviews i'm very excited to be here thank you thank you same here uh, so let's start by asking you about your journey i know you have a very varied journey and lot of interesting things that you have done so would you like to give us short summary about that sure aritosh and my journey started in a small town from uttar pradesh i, I was born in a small town near kanpur which is called kalpi it's a historical place and some of my fond memories from there is uh, we didn't had any english medium school in the town and my parents my grandfather was very focused on education so i used to travel when i was 8 year old to 32 kilometers every day to the next town to attend a school and this i used to go by state transport bus along with some of my friends who were also going to study so that's where my journey started uh, in a small town uh, educated got into a boarding school at standard 6 uh, to 12th i was there for 7 years in jhansi uh, enjoyed the stint learned lot of new things both academic and extra curriculars including lot of sports like cricket volleyball football hockey and so on uh, which shaped my journey and then i did my engineering uh, Uh, in 2000 to uh, 2000 to 2004 in computer science from a institute in indore which is now a university and then i got placed in tcs uh, in campus and it has been now 16 years in tcs a pretty exciting journey with multiple roles multiple countries that's in summary you know where my journey has been thank you so much that's really really a uh, exciting journey and yeah 30 32 kilometers that's a commitment so but i'm glad that you took this commitment because that i think made you what you are now so let's uh, talk a little bit about your academic interface so in your profile i was looking into and you say that you are one of the faces that uh, is the channel between industry and the institution so you want to talk uh, a bit about that yes uh, so before that i want to just put the context uh, of my journey in tcs so that it can help uh, sure. us connect the dots mm-hmm. so uh, when i got into uh, tcs uh, the first 10 years i was working in a large account uh, i did multiple roles starting as a mainframe programmer to becoming a business analyst uh, i got exposure to visit germany and canada for a couple of years i mm-hmm. handled large teams of around 30 35 people you yep. know uh, did all kinds of roles and then at this juncture of having spent 10 years in multiple roles i realized that uh, after doing uh, you know some self introspection that i i am good at some place where education is closer to my heart i wanted to have an impact in education especially higher education the company which i work in is one of the biggest private employers in india uh, and also because i like coaching mentoring and dealing with uh, young people uh, so 
I was finishing my executive program in management in parallel with my job from IIT Bombay with specialization in HR marketing. And during one of the campus trips, I went to a couple of institutes in Central India, MP. I did pre-placement talks, and I realized that these are kids which are our future, which is future of mm-hmm. IT industry, future of our organization, future of our country. But they are lacking the guidance, especially in tier two, tier three cities. And if I could get into a role where I could use my experience and make a difference in their lives, that would be great, both from a professional perspective also as a personal achievement. And hence, I got into a role of academic interface program at for India West uh, at TCS. <clears throat> and in the stint of four years, which I was there, I conducted close to hundred plus. workshops facilitated uh, more than 500 sessions from student maybe would have covered more than 50000 engineering students mm-hmm. across 100 plus institutes and this was basically towards how do you bridge the gap between industry and academia mm-hmm. what does industry need and how can students which are basically input to the industry understand that requirement fulfill the gap you know Uh, you know basically upgrade their skills so that they are relevant and they are industry ready that's mm-hmm. what i was doing from a student perspective and similar kind of work i was doing for faculties to faculty development programs interfaces and the third phase which was institute i was contributing in form of board of studies helping institute upgrade their curriculum as per industry now wow. that's that's really making a difference to all the youngsters and uh, i think yeah this is very important that we give back to the community give back to the society give back to the institution that we belonged once and you know, probably take it as a whole nation so i'm really really glad that you're doing such a great job of helping the next generation uh, because that is the future uh, so let me uh, ask you uh, and i truly believe that behind success we have lot of failures we have lot of learnings and in my interview i make sure that i ask my guest about their one to two failures and what were their learnings out of those failures so would you mind telling that thank you absolutely and it's a great question aritosh uh, in current world lot of us focus on me on success but as they say our life is not a constant line there are always ups and downs yep. and failures and i'll also add setbacks are the stepping stones or i mm-hmm. will call the raw material of success right uh, i have had multiple of them in my career journey uh, starting from when i was in 12th i was preparing after a year i was preparing for iit uh, which is one of the top entrance exam in india most of the students who take science prepare for iit i cleared the uh, the the first leg you know uh, of right. the uh, In a, of the process, but I couldn't clear the mains, and hence I couldn't get into IIT. That was the first failure I would say from a career perspective. Second one was when I was also trying to get into uh, a good management institute, say an IIM, while uh, you know doing my job. I was close. I got a couple of calls, but I couldn't convert. Mm-hmm. These were two major uh, failures. But now I realize that. Uh, i was doing probably these because everyone else was mm. and when i did that self reflection and said uh, myself reflecting was it the right thing to do or was it i was just following the herd and mm-hmm. i realized that that was not the case i wanted to get into that because i wanted to get exposure to academic world some mm-hmm. great institutions also great career journey which i realized i had where i was and i don't need to get into these institutes this is yeah. only one of the ways to you know get right. success probably in life and not the only way so uh, that was uh, you know my personal learning i have few setbacks also uh, mm-hmm. if if uh, you're okay i can share it here sure also. sure go ahead yeah uh, and uh, two setbacks which i had and which is kind of life turning for me Uh, in 2009 uh, when i was probably 28 years of age i uh, was diagnosed uh, with uh, uh, 
with a rare kind of uh, you know uh, infectious disease that was lowest point in my life mm. i was in coma for a month and mm. i had more than 15 surgeries on me uh this included loss of vital function like speaking and walking and mm. doctors said it was a miracle i survived mm. i was out of the entire professional life for more than 6 months but with support of my organization family relatives and well wishers i could overcome this challenge and that is where uh, i also started reflecting what is important in life mm-hmm. right uh, whether what we are seeking is it important in the larger context so this was one setback another one which happened few years back in 2016 my mother was diagnosed with an advanced stage of cancer and oh. uh, this was again one of the lowest phases of my life i i feel at least uh, contemplated that i could spend you know uh last probably uh, several months with her uh, in a peaceful way but mm-hmm. these were two setbacks uh, which i had mhm thank you so much for sharing uh, such uh, private details i think these are i believe that uh, we all see success as the tip of the iceberg but there is lot which is beside no beside the tip which is inside the sea and we do not see we do not see our failures we not do not see our setbacks and thank you so much for sharing that